All right, just want to do a quick demo. I've got this new Mojo Mojo Overdrive from TC Electronic. I want to compare it with my Ibanez Tube Screamer that I've had for a long time. And um, I'll also be comparing it with the Analog Man King of Tone. So real quick, just let me give you the clean guitar signal. Got a Custom Shop Fender 57 Stratocaster plugged into a Blackface Super Reverb. So just an E chord, clean guitar. <laughs> set at noon. Screamer sounds louder than the mojo. And I can also hear that this has more bass, and this has the obviously tube screamers are just known for their mid range hump that they put in your tone. So, yeah, this is a much more transparent. Um, how do I put it? The EQ sounds more um, like the amp to me, whereas this obviously adds some mid-range. So right now at these settings, it's much more transparent. It does add a little bit of darkness, maybe a little low end, as opposed to this mid. Tremendous amount of mids in that. So anyways... Let's add a little bit of level, I think. Let's leave the drive there and a little high end, a little treble knob. Okay, now we're closer to unity gain with the amp. Tube screamer with the settings all at noon. Sounds actually a little louder than unity with the amp, so I'll turn the drive the knob uh, the level knob down a bit. Okay, so now let's mess with the, uh, the EQ some more on this. Turn the treble up to uh, 3 o'clock. Turn the volume up a little. Well, you can hear a lot of low end in this one. A lot of low end. Um, let me see a little bit of a clean. Clean. And a lot of mid hump in that signal. Okay, so let me try to roll back the bass a little bit on this one. So now I've got the bass set to about 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30.
so just a little like a blues run in A. So let's do a little bit more drive now. I'll turn up the drive on this. Well, let me back the treble down a little bit. Get rid of a little bit of that low end. So it feels like I want a little bit more drive, so we're going to turn the drive up to about 2.30. Drive here about two, two thirty. A little more, more drive. sound and pedal. Yeah, I like the, uh, I, they sound pretty close. You can make them, uh, Screamer type overdrive, I could easily gig with this pedal. Um, does it sound different? It does to me. Um, does it feel different? Um, as a guitar player, I don't know if you guys understand or feel the way I do, but sometimes pedals or amps and guitars, they might not sound different, but they certainly have a feel that's different. And I can tell you, maybe it's because I'm more used to this, but this has a feel to it that I want to play more than this feel, if that makes any sense at all. I know, weird guitar player, right? So, um... color the signal of the guitar quite a bit I think it's it's definitely different <laughs> I'm definitely noticing the mid hump in this a lot more than the low end that this adds but you can see this has more versatility as far as your EQ because it has a bass and a treble. Oh, and I should probably also address this voice. There's a little button on there that says voice. I don't know exactly what it does. Um, so let's do a little sound thing, see if you can hear the difference. So here's the uh, pedal with the voice toggle is down. <laughs> Voice toggle is up. 
there's more low end that's kind of what I'm hearing more bass signal when the voice switches down <laughs> does something with the low end in the down position it sounds different um, so make out of that whatever you want but um, anyway I think this is a pretty good pedal I guess the point of this is if you wanted to have this pedal you can buy just a stock tube screamer these days for around 75 bucks I think and if you want a TS 808 version I think they're right around 150 but if you want the um, analog man, I think I've seen these on reverb going for around the $250 mark. And this pedal was less than $50. So that's a pretty nice sounding pedal for less than 50, um, 50 bucks, in my opinion. <laughs> max out the drive just to see what they sound like. So here's the Tube Screamer with the drive maxed. This might have more drive. Let's do a rear pickup. has a little bit more uh, drive on tap that's for sure I usually use a tube screamer set right around there max and um, so if I got my clean song <laughs> Play, give you a, a sample of how this sounds. Now what I use this for is like I said this is the original one it's not the high gain model I've got this set for a clean boost and a slightly more dirty clean boost so I guess you call this clean boost and then overdrive and the thing about these pedals the magic in these is where you can hear a mid hump in this and probably a little mids and lows with this to me this adds very little color it's just like your amp a little bit louder so, for example, here, here's the amp. So, with the clean boost. Yeah, I've got the drive up a little bit, so I'm also adding a little bit of dirt. Now 
got, um, this is set to distortion, or it's not distortion, but more overdrive. So you're going to hear more distortion out of this. <laughs> Just the guitar, clean boost, still sounds an awful lot like the original guitar signal, just a little bit more hair on it, and a little louder, because that's how I've got it set with the volume, but you can set it to unity too. And by contrast, um, turn the drive down, but you can still hear all the mids added, as opposed to this, it's almost the same exact sound, and then a little bit more drive, get a pretty good idea how these differ in sound. Oh, the great thing about this pedal too, the Analog Man King of Tone, is it's really two pedals in one. Obviously you've got the clean and the drive and you can stack them. So like, here's the tube screamer. So if I just have this one, I can stack it. do quite a bit if I want to boost my lead sound. If I'm playing a solo, I'll stack this into the front of this. So I've got, uh, let's see. As opposed to just that. different guitars and amps and it just works with I, I really haven't found anything it doesn't work well with so you can see how well it stacks with this too as well as this great pedal just a great pedal these are going around $350 now new but there's like a almost a two-year waiting list so you can uh, guys are selling these for 500 bucks on reverb and uh, it's not uncommon to see them between four and five hundred bucks on eBay as well so anyway a $50 pedal stacks up pretty good against these high-end pedals. Is it the same? No. Some people might like it better, but um, for $50, bucks, uh, I say good job to TC Electronic with the Mojo Mojo pedal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 